Hey guys, it's the Gamer here, and welcome back to part 2 of the Texas Adventure game and Visual Basic tutorial. In this tutorial, we're gonna go, I'm going to go over how to make your program give you choices, and then how to react to those certain choices. So, if you go back in my first video, you can see we had this here before. And then I added some more stuff here, and I'm going to go over with with you what this actually is doing. So, in order to do that, I want to make a new project new console application and I'm gonna use instead of hello world I'm gonna use a sentence that can give the story a little bit of meaning to the text adventure so console.write line um, say you arrived in a dark cave so that's how it's gonna start out and it's gonna present you with some choices so console.write line um, what here is do you go down the you know, you see a torch in the distance, but here water behind you. That's good. And another line. Do you do you go towards the torch or water? And that's not least. We have to um go towards the torch. Go towards the water. Okay, so let's go and see if it's not. Oops, I forgot to put console read line. So we can actually see. And yes. So that's everything I just typed here in console. So now what we have to do is we have to re let it respond to our decision. So in order to do this, we're going to have to define a variable. So let's define the variable as answer. And we have to define it to console.readline. And then go ahead and generate the property sub for that. And we're going to have if then else commands. For example, if answer equals one, then console dot right line you go towards the torch. Console dot line. Else if else if answer equals two, then console right line you go towards the what? I can't type the water. Oops, I can't type that. Else that was not. Oops, console dot right line. That was not a choice. Right line, you die. Okay, so I'm gonna go over this program and what exactly it's doing right now. So after it tells us we have two choices, we're defining the variable, and then what this is saying is that whatever we type and then hit enter, that's what the, the variable answer is going to be equal to. So let's say we type 1 and hit enter, answer is now equal to 1. And then we're having an if command that says if the answer is 1, it's going to say you go towards the water. If the answer is 2, you go towards the water, I mean, I meant torch up here, and then if it's not either one or two, that was not a choice, and then you die. So let's go make sure this actually works. So if we hit one, hit enter, it says we go towards the torch. Now if we do anything else, it's not going to work, it's just going to close. Now if we hit two, and hit enter, you go towards the water, close it, and then if we hit anything else, like this, that was not a choice, you die, hit, hit enter, you die, and then it closes. So that's how the if then else commands work. And if you don't know what else if means, um, it's basically else, but it's um, it's a one time else. So else is saying if it's anything but if, but else if is saying if it's not if, then if it's this, the other else if, then do that. I think you you can understand how that really works out a, a long explanation. So that's how you can make the basic choice commands and what you have to do from here is you have to branch out everything um, with again a lot of if then else commands. A clever technique that people like to use is no matter what you choose more or less you will end up in the same spot. For example, uh, you can say you spawn in a forest and you see a rock. Do you go towards the rock? Do you kick the rock? Do you try to move the rock? Um, and then, for example, if you go near the rock, you see a cave next to the rock. If you kick the rock, you go up to the rock, kick it, and it does nothing, and you see a cave next to the rock. You try to push the rock, but you can't push it because it's too heavy, and then you see a cave in the distance or whatever. You can see how all three of those choices would lead you to 
seeing a cave and then no matter what you what you do there your your next choices will be go into the cave or explore elsewhere which I, I generally don't like exploring elsewhere so in the next tutorial I'm gonna go over a more advanced sort of game that we're gonna be creating it's gonna be very short but it's still going to get the job done as a text adventure